Hey everyone, it's Sammy Benjamin from Storyblock here. Today, I'm extremely excited to introduce you to our newest feature, the ideation room. Traditionally, drafts and ideas are scattered across various applications, making them difficult to access, organize, collaborate on, and integrate with your content. The Ideation Room addresses these challenges by centralizing all of your drafts and ideas within Storyblock. So in this video, I'll guide you through creating a draft within the Ideation Room and bringing it to your content, demonstrating its simplicity and efficiency. Let's start things off in the visual editor. So we have an article written here for the Ideation Room, but we're missing the introduction. So when we jump back to our dashboard, you can see under the content tab, there's a new ideas tab. Let's start a new idea. Now we're in the ideation room. The layout of the ideation room should feel familiar. That's by design to make it super easy to get started. At the top, we have our toolbar. Hovering here, you can change your text into different styles of headings. We also have basic functionality such as bolding, italics, strike through, and underline. And you can also do things like adding images, links, setting anchors, and so on. There are a couple buttons on the right hand side, starting with settings. Let's add an idea name to this page. You can also do things like adding a short description, changing the status, which we will do later, assigning to particular people on your team, and adding tags. Let's go ahead and click save. And now you can see the title has been updated on this page. So in the interest of time, I've prepared some text. Let's paste it right here. You can see in the first paragraph, we actually have a couple of statistics that come from an article. This brings us to the links tab. So I'm going to grab the link to this article and let's head over to links. So you can see here external links. Let's paste that link, add the name state of CMS 2024. And this is really great because if you're writing and using a ton of resources, you can add all of the links. And now as simple as clicking this link here, we'll go directly to the article for reference. So there's one more thing under links and that's linked stories. If we make this page public and find our story that we're trying to edit, we have now linked that story. This makes it super easy to access your content when you're ready to edit. Let's make some adjustments to our text. First, I'd like to add the link to the State of CMS article. So all you have to do is highlight this text, head up to link, use the drop down menu to switch it to a URL, paste and click done. Now let's bold some text, starting with AI powered. Now that we have our first draft, I want to reach out to the team for feedback, which brings us to the commenting tab. There are two types of comments, global and inline. Global is a general comment on the entire page, and inline is a comment on a specific line or lines of text. First, let's leave a global comment to the entire team. So let's head over to the comment section, use this drop down menu to switch to global, and leave your comment. Now let's send an inline comment to one of our colleagues. So I'll just highlight the text. After highlighting, you'll see this commenting button open up on the right hand side of the page. And we can type our comment. There's two ways you'll be notified when there's a comment in the ideation room. The first is an email with a direct link to the idea. And next on the comment tab, you'll see a red notification bubble. So we can drop down in comments and switch to inline. And it looks like Dirk is asking us to use AI to switch the tone to business and make the section longer. He also wants us to translate it to Dutch in which he'll review when it's ready. So before making those changes Dirk requested, I'd like to show you some of the capabilities of the AI within the ideation room. So if you type a forward slash, you can actually prompt the AI. Typing here, you can ask it to write for you or draft for you. It gives you the option to change the tone of voice, change the language, and change the length. Okay, that looks great. So now let's translate this text to Dutch. So let's highlight our text again, use the drop down AI menu, go over to translate and Dutch. 
So here on the right, you can see the replace button. This will replace your entire paragraph with the translation. But if you go over to this dropdown, you have the option to copy the text or insert it below. Let's go ahead and insert it below. Now let's send a comment back to Dirk and resolve it. Now that our draft is ready, let's go back to overview and change our status. Let's switch it to approved and click save. The great thing about the ideation room is you've already linked your story. There's no need to leave the ideation room to find your content to make these changes. Let's head up to links. And if you remember, we've linked our story, so all we need to do is click this link. So in the visual editor, let's go ahead and go up to form view. This first block is where we want to add our introduction. So if we go over to the right hand side and click idea, let's open up our new idea. And here's your text. So all we have to do is go ahead and copy it and paste. Now if we go up to save, return to the visual editor, we can see how it looks. And just like that, we've added a new introduction to this article. And with that, I welcome you to the ideation room. It's time to get value from your content faster.